Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Masai School. Uh, we are a 21st century career focused coding school. Uh, my name is Amanwats. I'm an engineering graduate from Birla Institute of Technology, Misra. Uh, I lead the data structures and algorithm curriculum at Masai School. So uh, let me tell you about this video series. <clears throat> Uh, in this video series, we'll be introduced to uh, computer programming. Uh, you will learn how to write basic computer programs. You will learn the basic constructs of a computer program. That is uh, data types of variables, conditional statement, loops, functions, everything. And you will be learning this in Python. All right. So <clears throat> this is a very fundamental uh, uh, video to, you know, getting started with computer programming in Python and uh, this video series is actually a part of the pre-course uh, for the full stack developer program at Mass High School. And now we have decided to, you know, make this course available for all aspiring programmers. So we really hope that it helps you in getting started with computer programming and in Python. So happy coding. Thank you so much. Hey guys, in this part of this segment, I want to talk about one important thing. We just talked about the input function. All right. I mean, how to take input from user. So basically, if you do something like Say x is equal to input and let's say print x. Print x. So suppose if I run this program, it will prompt the user for some input. So it's showing blank screen for inputting. So if I just say four, it just printed four. Basically, it took that as input and put saved that in a variable called x and printed again that back to us. Okay. So there is one important thing that I wanted to talk here, which is uh, there is difference between the two versions of, I mean, how the two versions of Python deal with input. So uh, let's do one thing. Let's print the type of variable x is. I mean, what kind of information this x variable is storing. So suppose, I'll clear it. Suppose I run it with Python. So if I'm writing plain Python, so it's using Python second version two point something. So if I just run this, so if suppose I type six, so you can see it took six and it, the type is integer. All right. But suppose if I do the same thing in Python three, third version, I mean, three point something, let's do it. Suppose I provide six again, it's a string. Okay. So the point that I want to highlight here is Python three takes the input and by default, converts it or saves it as a string data. Okay. So please remember this Python. Um, I mean, Python, this version takes Python third, Python 3.0 or 3. Point something takes the input and saves it as a string by default. So what problem you might face is suppose you do something like uh, y is equal to x divided by four. Okay. And now if you try to print y, so it might throw any, I mean, it will throw you an error. Why? Because since you are performing an operation, an arithmetic operation, which a string does not support. I mean, you cannot divide a string by four. Okay. So this will show you an error if I run it using Python three. So it's asking for some input. So suppose I enter six. Yeah, you can see unsupported operand type this for string and integer. Basically because this X as per Python is a string. And we are, we are dividing it by four, which is an integer. So why is not a supported type? I mean, it's not supported these two types of operation. So it throws a type error. So what we can do in order to, uh, you know, uh, overcome this error in Python three is, uh, I mean, don't worry about this for now. You will learn about it in detail later, but for the time, if you want to perform an arithmetic operation and you're providing an integer, but Python is taking it as a string. So what you can do is you can put it int out of it, int outside, int. So what basically this does is it takes whatever the user is inputting and converts it into an integer and then saves it to x. Okay. So I'll write it here. Takes input from user, converts it to integer and then saves it on the variable. Okay. So you should know the things very interesting. Okay. So this is how the different versions of Python uh, tackle this problem. So make sure you understand this. So basically 
we are taking the variable on input so let's perform the operation now let's try to perform the operation now so if we perform the same operation that we earlier was performing now let's suppose i enter six yeah you can see it printed 1.5 why basically because putting this integer converts whatever the user is inputting into an integer so just to i mean conclude basically whenever you are performing an arithmetic operation and you are taking input from the user make sure you convert it to integer before performing the operation how do you do it you just write int then the input right so that's one thing that i wanted to put